Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as the Urson Revivalists going up against the Barrisonlings, where they're bringing in 35 units across four different armies, so a bunch of small armies coming at us. We're in a walled settlement here, and we've got a pretty large garrison, 21 units, allowing us to not control a large army. Let's jump in here and uh, see what we can do. Now, the guy gave me a fair bit of information in the email on what he did, and Obviously, what didn't work. He tried to fight the battle, he said, three times before basically giving it up and sending it to me. Now, he said in the title that he called it two minutes to win before enemy armies arrive. So, he tried to sally out and wipe them out uh, before the reinforcement shows up. But I don't think that's going to work. That would only really work if you only had to go up against like one or two units. But because they've got Marauder Horsemasters here, even if we sent our cavalry out there... Um, they're just going to run away. There's no way we're going to kill them within two minutes. It's just never going to happen. So don't try to do tactics that just won't work. All right, the chances are just zero. All right, let's just um, get back to begin with. Now, by not controlling large army, we denied ourselves one of our cavalry units, but we denied them 15 of their reinforcements, at least um, at the beginning stage of the battle, so they don't bring everyone in at once. This allows us to control the pace of the battle a little bit better. Okay, so I, oh yeah, getting attacked from all sides, but I think we can pretty much, not completely beat this, but thin them out a great deal with just a few units. Yeah, I definitely don't want to put like your entire army here and try to beat them, that's not going to work. Alright, let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to put the guns here, because I'm going to try to get them to kill the enemy lord. Can you get... That there. And put two there. Okay. I'm not going to put anyone on the ground here. Because when they run... When, when they get through the gate, I'll just get these guys to go on the other side of it and shoot them in the back. Um, and there's nothing here specifically that's high value. If I put too many units here, I won't be able to defend in other areas. And this is one of the weaker of the armies. Right? Also, it's important to note what order they're going to come in. So, in Warhammer 2, the reinforcements all came in at the same time from all, all the reinforcing armies. But in Warhammer 3, the armies come in one at a time. So, this was the second army on the list. So, the entirety of this force has to come in before that one. And then that one will be last because that was the order that they were in. Okay. So we know that we should probably defend here, and that is the least important to defend because those are the last troops to come in. You know, those guys coming in signifies that we're probably winning. Alright. So let's have a look at our hang on, I got an idea. I'm gonna put these guys under control group one, just so I know not to use them in deploying other areas. Okay, let's have a look at our heroes here. Okay, with this bear dude, I might Oh, the patriarch on a bear. I might get him to come out here and just be annoying. So they got some stuff there, whatever. Uh, let's see, what should we put up here? I'm going to put all the ice guard up here. Do I need any more defenders than that? Just, yeah, probably. Okay, let's put uh, these two here. Also, I think the gate bug still works, but you need to use a large unit to do it. So if I use the gate bug with an infantryman, it pushes them, it pushes them back. But if you use a bear, um, it'll keep the gate open, disabling them from from um, opening the gate. But there's a lot of infantry there, so they can just climb up the walls. All right, that's control group two. I'm gonna leave the tsar guard here, along with the cavalry. Actually, I'm going to put the cavalry here, just to begin with, so that these guys don't think about running this way, hopefully. If they see this is defended, they might not go for it. I want them to come through the front. Okay, it's open. Okay. But yeah, we can maneuver them around the easiest. Alright, so these... These Tsar guard. Just block those points. I think we should build tower there first. And then we've got... These two. All right, just put them in positions to activate towers. Okay, and we'll put that in control group three. And this in control group four. All right, cool. I think we're set up. 
And let's just see how we go. Let me just see over here if the gate bug actually works this way. So yeah, this is what they do. They push you out of the way. But what if I was just a little bit closer? Yeah, see, it forces your units to go back. It is my path. And if you stand right there, when it's already... Oh! Oh, the gate bug still works. How about that? Cool. I'm not necessarily going to rely on that. I just was curious about it while this was coming in. Alright, these guys here have no idea where to go. They're just standing in front of the towers getting shot to shit. I... Can't ask for a better result out of that. Alright, and yeah, aim for the enemy lord there. Because guns are pretty good at taking out small single entity. At least better than archers. Uh, this guy does have a shield though. What are they doing? So, Bouncer Power right now looks pretty damn good, but this is the, one of the weakest of the four armies. I imagine this is going to slip away really quickly when the reinforcements start coming in. Now, don't shoot. Don't shoot this. It's a waste. Try to shoot the Lord. Oh, right. I got supplies. Let's build something. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Obey, obey. So that first army is pretty much already beaten. And now the bounce power is even, and we still have a few, few forces to come in. So it's, it's not in our favor. Not yet, anyway. Definitely doesn't seem like the worst bouncer power ever. I think this guy just had a problem with them coming in from all sides. And they just sort of like tactically outmaneuvered him. Alright, what's going on here? They're not coming over here. They want to run over this way. Uh-uh. Alright, I'm going to give them some bait. Come and eat some bear ass. Or maybe because I opened the gate, they decided not to go through there in the first place. Obviously, I don't want to get hit by skin wolves, but I want these ones to come over here and get shot by the ice guard. Look, they're getting shot, just let that happen. How are we going over here? Alright, they're in. Now we just turn around. Cool. How dare they? Alright, well, this one's here almost gone, and we'll just try to lure these guys over here. Try to lower the highest bounce of power units over, like the Feral Mammoth, and to some degree the Giant. There's also some Skaven units in there, but I'm no longer really surprised when I see mixed armies. That's it, good. We got them to turn around. Because we're strongest here. We want them to attack us in our strong point, not in our weak point. I only left a couple of units over there. Come eat some bear ass. Alright, we killed that lord. We're almost done over here. That's good. They're running around. Okay, that's fine. How are we going here? Alright, I got some more supplies. Let's build it here. But yeah, using this guy here as bait. Great. This mammoth was fully dedicated to coming over this way, and now it's going to get shot by Ice Guard. You know, eventually. Get hit. And it missed. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, keep the giant here as well. That's good. Alright. They're not coming through this way, so let's just move these guys back over this way. Alright, they're coming up here. You guys come back up this way as well. This is not enough to really do anything here. They're clearly just trying to cap points. I don't think it's going to work. Alright, 
But I still got to keep an eye on it. Especially considering these guys are coming up this way as well. Alright, I would really love to bring more of these infantry over this way. So we keep shooting them. Yeah, you gotta go back up this way as well. It definitely seems like archers are performing a lot better on the walls now. Post update. Okay, move over this side a little bit. Don't worry about the mammoth. Get him to eat that up. And two of these ice guard, get over this way. Yeah, might want to shoot that. Alright, these ones here, they're not protecting anything anymore. Bring up. Like I said, they did not have enough to do anything serious there. Good, we got rid of the mammoth. Keep the giant here as long as possible. Yeah, I really don't want them going through here, but still, dicking them around with this was pretty good. Don't go... Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. You can go that way. You might just get through there in time. Come on. Pathfind, you dumbass. You need to go around this way or else you're going to... Get fucked. Alright. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Doesn't have enough capping power now. Bit of a scramble to get back here. Alright. Last of the reinforcements are coming in. Alright. Run out of ammunition. And there's nobody here left anyway. Okay. You need to go this way. Through here. Yeah, these ones here. Sh uh, come, come around this way. Let me go stand there. Alright. You turn around. Yeah, don't come off the wall there. You're just going to get slaughtered. Okay, we've got enough for another tower. Let's build it here. See, the thing is, in this battle, we're not really relying too much on our supplies and towers. Well, we're definitely relying a fair bit on the four towers. Although, those towers suck. They're not doing very much at all. Curious to see what level this tower is. This one here is still capping it. No, go for the Rat Ogres. How about you guys go over here and just finish that off? It'll take them ages to cap it with like six units of uh, Norskan Ice Wolves. That's a good fireball. Alright, balance of power is even, and all of the reinforcements have shown up now. Right. No, 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 get over here. Alright, good, that's been cleared. Good, these guys are coming over here. Okay, it's holding on. Alright, skin wolves are definitely a problem. Okay, they don't seem too interested in coming up this way, but just keep our guys there for now anyway, because we don't want to lose that position. And it's giving cover for these guys to get back here. Keep the cavalry at the back here. I don't think we're going to be playing a game of uh, running around and recapping points. Okay, get these two up here. That seems like a decent position. What are they doing? Alright, that position is going to be lost, but that's the least important of them. I don't have any towers there. Alright, they do have some here. You stand back a little bit so you can shoot them. Alright, I got another tower that I can build, but where? I gotta build it somewhere where it's not gonna get destroyed straight away. How about there? Yeah, we're not fully organized here yet. Alright, 
Alright, let's try to get the Griffin Legion down over here. Because I saw there was those... Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to be attacked in the rear a little bit. Good for cavalry, this terrain. No, 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 no. Stand back here, stand back here. Just let these guys here that have used up all the ammo fight. Getting a little bit overrun here, but we're getting more organized. Get, gotta get, shoot over this way. Also, don't lose this position here. Kinda need that. Put more troops in there. Put more troops in there. Good. Caught the. Uh, we didn't charge into them, but we caught them. We can easily beat that. Do not lose this position here. Okay, these two. Just wait and they'll get them to recap that in a moment. We're getting overrun over here. Just hold that as long as you can. What's going on? Oh, they're on skirmish mode. God damn it. Forgot to check that shit. Bouncer power's in our favor, so that's good. God, I was wondering why they were acting so stupid. Fucking default. I have uh, skirmish mode turned off by default, obviously, but it just does this. And they're punching through us a bit here. As long as the bouncer power remains even, there's a decent amount of hope. Alright, I really don't want you dying. In fact, you're on a bear. It's really useful. We've almost used up all the ammo on our ice guards so they can go into melee. Keep these towers shooting as long as possible. Okay, the bounce battle seems like it's in our favor. Those guys there just need to hold out as long as possible. Get that guy out of there. Yeah, skin wolf werekins are going to be a big problem. This is difficult to deal with. Alright, bring these guys in. We've got to hold on. For dear life now. That guy got a lot of kills. We need to kill that wizard before the battle's over. And the bear is the best one to do it, but he's... Yeah, he's gone. He's part of the garrison, so he's... He'll just come back. Just couldn't get him out of there. Didn't have enough mass. Bounce spells in our favor. That's good. Just hold on to these two positions here. That's really important. Okay, I can build another tower. But this position here is about to be overrun. I doubt that's going to have any use. Okay, this one's run out of ammo. Send it in. i got to get the cavalry to push them back so I can not lose this position here. Also, they might be okay at taking out. Dude. But the army losses was just triggered. Okay, yeah. So, oh, and we got some reinforcements, which came in inside of our city, which is nice. But there we go. Now we just do a bit of a cleanup job. The only dude here that we really needed to keep alive was the boyar. But yeah, sending all of your forces out there to, to deal with that within two minutes was never going to work. Man, if that mammoth and giant had entered the fight here, that would have been an absolute catastrophe. Good thing we took them out early. But then again, by delaying our forces here and shooting at them, they didn't get back here quite in time, so I don't know. Still, most of our ammo was used up. Except for the... Um, the Cossar Spears. We had to send them in to hold this position. And yeah, just try to kill off as many units and heroes as possible so that they don't get experience. Uh, that one would be a really important one to get to, but it's too fast. I can't get it. Yeah, I don't think this was the most difficult battle by a, a long shot. I think he just didn't know what to do about it. I think part of the problem is, like, some people, they'll see me do a certain tactic. And then they'll like it. And they'll, they'll try to do it all the time, even if it's a bad time to do it. 
Like, oh, Legend of Total War, he wants to uh, beat an army in two minutes and deny the enemy reinforcements from showing up. I'll do that every single time. Yeah, you can't do that every single time. It's just not going to work. you got to know the situations, and that just comes from experience. Like, there was no way in hell we were going to beat that within two minutes. And if we had tried to do it, it would have screwed up the rest of our battle. Alright, did we end up killing the wizard? Alright, looks like it. And that'll do. I don't see how that was a Pyrrhic victory. But whatever. There's barely any of them remaining. They're not going to make another attack next turn. This army here is completely obliterated. That's, that's just straight up gone. Alright, so only three units got wiped, and they'll just- oh, sorry, four. But they'll just come back, because it's the garrison. Yeah, only the first army got completely obliterated. That guy got away there. Skinwolves kind of got away. Alright, let's get you some... Money? Yeah, it looks- oh, you get loads in reserve. What'd you just get? A gift of Slanesh or something. If we do this, though, it'll replenish the garrison, because 800's not very much. It'll only affect him. Just, yeah, just grab the replenishment. Until you die. And then we'll have a little look at the situation, and then hand it back. Yeah, if we didn't dish out enough damage to them, they probably would have just re-besieged it, because they don't lose all of their movement when they lose a battle, if they're on the attack. It's usually better to go arrange a little axe, and I know he's like bleeding money, but still. Yeah, if I had to guess, he took a Slanesh gift. He's not even trying to do the uh, the soul race, which I don't blame him. Soul race sucks, even with the patch, it still sucks. It's just not fun. Um, yeah, you don't have any enough troops here to to sally out against that. And you should probably think about actually doing one of these, especially Daz. Doesn't have any of that going on at the moment. It may have just expired. But this will, um, yeah, it's on legendary, so it, it just saved already. So it's not going to save this particular thing. But that'll, that'll mitigate a little bit of um, a financial burden. Yeah. All right, you, sh you should be able to. Oh yeah, you'll easily beat that with this. That's really good. There yeah, you got that. Yeah. Yeah, campaign's looking a little bit dicey, but it's far from over. And at least now, if you. Uh, if you knock out the pox makers of Nurgle in the realm of uh, realm of souls, they'll lose all their souls now, which is which is definitely better than it was before. And the Bersonlings probably won't bother you for a little while. I don't think you need to keep this guy here to defend him. Gain tons of experience. But anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned. Hope you learned something. Um, appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.